Guys, have you ever faced this problem when you add your CGI object into your footage, but you got something in the way that is actually uh, holding that object? Like, for example, I want the car to be behind that uh, person, but it's actually not because we just exported this as something like that. But now I want to make this guy in front and make the car layer, that's the car layer, to be behind that person. So this is actually called rotoscoping. We are we have an object that is in front and then we can just make it in front and that's it so how to do it well i got two layers if i turn this off i got this car layer render if you want to know more about effect in blender you can check out my other tutorial also they're really good and you will understand how to do this kind of vfx but i exported this video from blender and i added these into that video but now I got that person in the way, I want to mask him out to bring him into the front. So how to do it? Let's do it right now. So what I'm, I'm going to go ahead and on top of everything, something like that, like it's on top. And then we can start masking out that person here and how to do it. Well, it's very easy to do. So you need to stay on that uh, layer. Uh, I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi. I got distracted by this. Okay. So I'm going to stay on this layer and I'm going to double click it. We will go into layer mode. And once we go into layer mode, we can start uh, using a rotoscoping here. So it's called Roto Brush tool, which actually lets you mask out automatically. I'm going to click it. And as you can see now, we turned uh, green. If you want to make it big, uh, if you want to make the brush size big, you can just hold control uh, and left and just drag around. To make it bigger or smaller i'm gonna go for this one and let's paint it and see what we get here so i'm gonna i'm just gonna hold left and drag on the person something like that yeah now if you zoom in uh, i'm gonna change uh the quality i'm gonna get back and i'm gonna change it to full and i'm gonna get back to there so we can perfectly see what is going on so as you can see now it's not perfect how to set it uh so you need to hold alt and lift just drag it and as you can see now it's a rest and i want to exp expand it a little bit so i'm just going to click this area i'm going to click this one a little bit somewhere right there and i think that one also maybe that one maybe this one and i'm going to hold alt and just drag to arrest this one i'm going to also add some of it here i'm going to go ahead for this one and I'm going to zoom in. So now the burst size is very big for the hand. So I'm going to hold all a uh, control and lift uh, hold and just drag to make it smaller. And now you can just go ahead and do whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so this is what we got here. I'm going to hold alt and just drag. I'm just going to expand it. I'm going to hold alt. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to hold Alt. Uh, you have to be precise on the first frame. And after that, you can just go ahead and play the video to see the result. So there is two methods that you can use to track its mask. So the first method is just hit spacebar to play the video. And it will automatically mask out the person for you. But it's not really a professional way. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to show both of the ways. So I'm going to click spacebar to play the video. And now it's going to start masking out. Just click space again to stop it. And as you can see, it's a bit off here. So I'm going to get back to this one, maybe right here and hold alt and let's drag it again. Fix it and let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's okay. And now I click again, play and just pause it again, click play. Okay, so it's going well. As you can see, now we got another problem. Let's go back a little bit in time when it starts going out. So I'm going to zoom in on that and hold Alt and just paint it. And again, play it and see what we get here. And let's. We got this problem. I'm going to hold Alt and just drag it. Let's play. Let's stop. Click Alt and just drag to remove this area. I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Stop. Play. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna zoom in. I got on another problem here. It's not really 100% accurate every time because you don't know what's the shape. So you just have to stop the video and do everything again to get a perfect result. And I'm gonna go ahead, just do it. I'm gonna hold Alt and drag to undo. Let's play it and stop. Stop. Yeah, we got another problem here. Hold Alt and just. Uh, I'm gonna paint it again. Yeah, that's it. That's correct. And so we got another problem here. Just a bit. Yeah, play. Click, hold Alt, and uh, paint this area. And I think that's fine. Again. Okay. So I think I need to just expand it. I'm gonna hold Alt to paint again. Yeah. Play again. This is the first method, which is actually like, you can say it's an automatic way. It's really fast, but it's not 100% accurate in every frame. It's a little bit jittery and you can just hit freeze and it will start freezing that mask for you. And now you will have that mask in the video. You have to wait for this to happen. So it's, it can take some time, but you have to be patient with it because it's going to work. And let's wait for this to happen. Now, the second way is manual way. Uh, it's a bit tedious, but I think if this is accurate to do it manually because we do, you, you will not see any problem here. And I will show you how to do it. But first, let's see the automatic way to do it. Now it's doing its job and let's wait for this. Yeah, it's done. Now going to compositing here. And as you can see, it's successfully in foreground here. Yeah, that's what we wanted for a long time yeah as you can see now there's a little bit of problem here but from a far away angle you can't really see what is going on yeah if you as you can see it's perfectly staying there and this is what we wanted we have successfully added our object into our 3d scene so now let's talk about the second way now this is done if you want to export this just go ahead and export but i'm going to go ahead and select this uh first layer that we added a rotor brush into i'm going to select and delete it again and now as you can see it's disappeared and we have we have to do it again so this time i'm going to be manual uh on this method because i want to manually mask out the object perfectly on every frame so i'm going to double click on the layer it will open up a new layer here so i'm going to go ahead zoom in and while the rotor brush is selected, I'm going to brush around the area. I'm going to precisely take all the place that I want. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now it's off here, so I'm going to hold Alt and just drag. And as you can see, it's perfectly doing its job. Let's do it for this one. Now, if we zoom in on this, we can uh, hold con uh, control and drag to make it smaller and hold alt and drag to perfectly make the fingers out there and just be perfect. I'm going to hold alt again, just bend this and okay, I think this area also, this area, now this time it's a bit uh, manual way and uh so it can take some time but it's a professional way that you can achieve a good result for a client who needs perfection and let's go ahead and pen this around and see what we achieve here so we go ahead and hold alt here and i'm gonna paint this around hold control and uh drag uh, hold control and left and drag to make it bigger or smaller so i'm gonna go ahead and do it i'm gonna hold alt to just make it a little bit smaller and now as you can see now we have the perfect shape uh so this time we we have to do it frame by frame so i'm gonna go ahead and zoom in Let's go to the second frame and zoom in and see. 
So we got a problem here. I'm going to hold Alt and let's spend these. I'm going to hold Alt. This time it's going to be perfect a little bit. So if you, if you want to have a perfect result, just follow along and see how to do magic. Yeah. It's a little bit tedious, but believe me, it's going to look very good. Now go to the second frame, and again, we got the same problem here. Yeah, this is, this is how you can do it. Uh, now I'm not going to do all the step on the tutorial, but you know how to do it and you just go frame by frame and see how does it looks like on every frame. When you do it, you will get a perfect result. And when you finish with your video, just click freeze and it will freeze out your video and it will be like a perfect one and you will not have to worry about anything. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Just click freeze and you will have the final video. And this is how it works. I hope you understand it and I hope you got it. Yeah, I know it's a bit tedious and a bit difficult, but believe me, your client is going to be very happy with the results because it's going to be extremely professional and it's going to look real good. And uh, yeah, that's the whole point of this video. Going to that. And now, as you can see, if you look at this frame, as you can see, you know, the fingers are perfectly done. And this is what we wanted. So this is how you can mask out your foreground objects in Adobe After Effects. Now, this was the rotoscoping method. And okay, guys, this is how you can get this kind of result. Uh, and I hope you understand the video. And I hope you like the video. Uh, share the video with your fan if they want to know how to do it. And thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.